It's beyond one's imagination that at times the smallest of negligence can take not only you, but your loved ones to the toughest of times, ending up in traumatizing world. Gosh. I wish my husband got tested for HIV in time. My life would have been saved. We have been going through a very painful time since I've been diagnosed. People show discriminatory behavior towards us. We have been forced to live in isolation. People aren't even willing to talk to us. We are going through a very agonizing period in our life and we can't even find anyone to share our problems with. This is the story of a couple who have gone through life's most tragic times. Gosh, I first test first, When I got my wife tested for HIV, the results came out positive. I was really shocked by the results. Because of my carelessness, my wife got infected. I wish I would have gotten tested sooner, so I could have started the treatment earlier, and my wife wouldn't be in this situation with me. She can't even share her feelings with her family because people start socially boycotting you if you tell them about your condition. I shuddered and asked God to forgive me for my negligence. The pain when your loved ones abandon you can't be better described by anyone else other than Mohammed Shafkat. There came a time when my family started to resent me to the point where they refused to even talk to me. I got tired of all this and told them, I gave you everything already. The only thing left is my life and I'm ready to give this up as well. Even my clothes refused to be a part of me, my children, my siblings, my in-laws, neighbors. Basically, everyone would avoid me with the fear of catching the disease. But a little care can create wonders and can help you overcome life's greatest tragedies and can ignite a passion to live life to the fullest. Once I was diagnosed as, a, you know, HIV positive, so I thought that is the end of my life. But I, you know, started off with the treatment. It has been over seven years, two months and 18 days that I am using this medicine. And let me tell you honestly, being adherent on this treatment, I am as good as anybody. And in these seven years, two months and 18 days, I have not got even fever for a single day. You have to just take one, t one pill, like I do. Just by taking one pill, without any pain, and I am saving my life. Despite the example of the life of Mr. Sati, who's living a healthy and positive life, many people still prefer living in a constant state of denial and consider HIV testing as the most complicated task due to the associated stigma. क्योंकि मुझे तो कोई जरूरत भी नहीं है और ये टेस्ट तो वो करवाना पड़ता है जो गलत काम है करते हैं फिर वो यार मतलब मसरूफ है वो बस कोई थोड़ी सुस्ती कोई उनकी गलतियां इस वजह से फिर नहीं करा है मुझे जरूरत नहीं है ना क्योंकि मैं खुद को परफेक्ट समझता हूं हमने ये काम कभी नहीं किया तो हमें क्या जरूरत है टेस्ट कराने की सुना कि गंदगी से होता है सफाई नो उससे होता है इधर टेस्ट कराने से जो आदमी जो बीमारी नहीं भी होती है इधर आगे और खजर खराब होना Contrary to popular belief, HIV testing is one of the most basic of processes one can engage in. Though the HIV test is very simple, the pre-test counselling process helps address fear. Many people are hesitant to undergo HIV testing. 
after this counseling, you will be relaxed. So now I'm off for my HIV testing. In a rare move, for the first time in Pakistan, leading by example, the UN's resident coordinator, UNAIDS Country Director for Pakistan and Afghanistan, the World Health Organization representative and head of National AIDS Control Program, have taken a bold step and publicly got themselves tested for HIV to encourage people to know their status. So I just had my HIV test done, very fast, very simple, and uh, over quickly. I recommend it for others. The first time I had it, more blood was extracted from my vein and it was painful. I also have to return to get my results after two weeks. But this time, it's so easy, quick, not painful at all, and I can get the result in 15 minutes. It's uh, really very easy, much easier than what I expected. Uh, no time, within a few seconds, uh, painless, free of charge, and I will get the result within 15 minutes. I apply HIV test karayin. In Tiahi Asan, free of cost, 15 minute me is ka result paye. An estimated 84% of the key population reportedly don't get themselves tested for HIV, while only around 25,000 cases out of an estimated 150,000 HIV infected individuals are registered with National AIDS Control Program. In the last seven years, there's been an alarming increase of 45% of new HIV infections in Pakistan. Most of those infected comes from very specific population, namely those who inject drugs or share needles. Second is gay men and other men who have sex with men, sex workers, transgender, and certainly their, their intimate partners. Actually, it's increasing not only in Pakistan, it's, it's in the region. And, and, and during the last, I mean, since 2010, I mean, the, it's almost increased by 28%. Unfortunately, uh, the, the situation is that HIV infection is not spread to the general population. There are many reasons that are amplifying this worse situation further. I think the main reason is that uh, people aren't getting tested. So you have maybe 16% of the people who are estimated to have HIV getting tested. It means 84% of them don't know it. I would say there are three key factors. The first one is lack of awareness or insufficient information. The second one is not using precautionary measures. And the third one is stigma associated with HIV AIDS or populations at risk. There is a big challenge in terms of accessing these services, mainly because of the stigma, discrimination, and even rejection felt or experienced by those who wanted to undergo HIV testing. There are actually specific risky behavior that increase the transmission of uh, HIV disease. For example, the drug abuse and using the same syringes by, by, by multiple users, unprotected sexual contact. The reasons for uh, the increase in HIV prevalence in Pakistan include uh, the lack of awareness uh, of the main modes of transmission of HIV and stigma and discrimination related to HIV and AIDS. There is a high level of drug production in a neighboring country to Pakistan, which has been growing in double digits for the last four or five years. And the second reason is that people who inject drugs, unfortunately, are using unsafe practices, like, for example, sharing the needle or syringes, and that contributes to the rapid expansion of the problem. In response to this scenario, Various national and international organizations are jointly putting their efforts to contain this epidemic from spreading. So we work with governments, we work with uh, non-governmental organizations, communities, to reach out to people who otherwise might be missed out. 
to include them in testing, to include them in treatment. UNAIDS is the first and the only um, joint program with 11 UN agencies coming together with the UN Secretariat to support country accelerate its response on HIV AIDS. WHO role is mainly in, in improving testing and, and, and providing the treatment guidelines as well as in, in, in the prevention also. UNDP does research, studies, suggest policy options for the government. We also work with other United Nations organizations, civil society and populations at risk to remove stigma and discrimination associated with HIV AIDS. UNHCR works with refugees. These are people who cross into Pakistan from their own countries to seek asylum here. Now we know that the HIV virus does not need a passport to cross a border. Uh, the IM role in Pakistan is to screen for HIV and other uh, transmittable diseases, refugees which are resettled from Pakistan to different other countries. So we have a number of protocols that uh, the resettlement states require, among which the testing for HIV. In the case in which uh, we identify uh, TB, tuberculosis cases, then we automatically test them also for HIV, because there is a relation between these two transmissible diseases. UNICEF works with the government, United Nations agencies, civil society and other partners to support national efforts to scale up HIV and AIDS prevention, care and treatment services for women and children in Pakistan. Uh, UNODC uh, works in Pakistan within the framework of a country program. Within that country program, we have a, a specific segment on drug demand reduction, which incorporates uh, the prevention of HIV AIDS uh, transmission. Uh, the most relevant topic on that is the segment of people who inject drugs. And for that purpose, we work very closely with government institutions, with civil society, and even the media, so as to create a higher level of awareness of this problem. As World AIDS Day 2018 is commemorated worldwide, this year, Pakistan is also putting its efforts to commemorate the day with a fresh resolve and the new theme is Know Your Status. End stigma, test for everyone who might have HIV, and treatment for everybody. No one is immune from HIV. Have yourself tested now. HIV infection is preventable, treatable, manageable by working with all stakeholders. Get tested, get treated, and live life normally. People who inject drugs are at a very high risk of contracting HIV. They better be informed, they better be careful. Precaution is the key to prevent the spread of HIV. 64% of Pakistanis are young. My message to young people is that your active engagement can help in ending HIV AIDS. HIV testing is a gateway to treatment. In order to protect yourself and your loved ones, get tested today. When we will test ourselves and heal ourselves, only then we will be able to HIV AIDS from our country, Pakistan, and we will be able to do it. And we will have no infection and no death from HIV AIDS. HIV test, 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 HIV test,